everybody how's it going Chris here thank you for tuning in to Wicked Digger today I'm out here in a field I've never been to got invited by a friend of mine uh, there's three of us here total haven't been here very long and all I've been digging so far is cans and junk but uh, someone else did pull out a World War One coat button so that was good um, we're gonna see what else we can find I'll let you know hopefully this field brings us some good luck never been here before so we'll see what happens so we just switched fields I'm pretty sure I got a copper it was ringing real low we got something round in the hole. Just switched to a different field. I'll have to clean it up to get an ID off of it. It's definitely a copper. Might even be like, maybe a farthing, it's small. Yeah, it looks like a farthing. Yeah. She's thin. It is, it's a thin, thin copper, but hey, we're happy with that. Finally got something good on the board here. We'll clean it up and uh, get some pictures. If we get an idea off of it. Right. All right, so I just got a signal in here that sounded just like foil. And I pulled this up and it was all folded in half. And I unfolded it. If you see, there's actually a little flower there and some design. So I'm not sure what this was. Could have been, uh, I guess, some type of a scutcheon plate or just a little, you know, fancy design on something. But. That's something, uh, some type of relic. Very interesting. Hmm. Pretty cool. We'll keep moving along. So I was just getting a nice 52 in here. We moved to another field here that's got corn stalks. And I just got a little pewter button. You can see where the shank was there. The, uh, it's not all there, but we'll take that. Happy with that. All right, and Tyler just pulled out. Let me grab it so we can see it here. A little piece of shape from a, a shoe buckle. Tons of brick, pottery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is. There's brick and pottery all over the ground. That's beautiful. That's a nice sight. Yeah, we're on some old stuff. Hopefully, uh, we don't have too much time, but we're going to do what we can here. Yeah. Well, it looks like we found a good spot because this thing was literally on the surface. Tyler was just walking by. He said, look at that thing. Oh, my gosh. Well... We'll keep hitting as hard as we can for now, but we know we'll come back uh, here very soon. Tyler is killing it. Unfortunately, he has to get going, and I only have a little bit more time. But he's got another piece of shoe buckle for him. Hey, man, he got another piece right before this. I didn't get it on camera. Wow. This is definitely an untouched area, I believe. Oh, man. All right, see what else we can get in the little time we have. We piece got a button in here. Another piece of pewter. Oh, button, yeah. Button pewter scrap. button, definitely. Nice. Just pulled this out. I don't even know what it is yet. But it sure looks like it could be military or have a design on it. Oh, look at that thing. Let me get that out in the sun. Look at the design on that. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. Holy cow. What a beautiful button. Full shank and everything. Man, I'm happy with that. Whew. Sweet. I swung over this signal and I said, oh, that could be Tom back. Check it out. Still in the clump, shiny as can be, perfectly round Tom back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's see what I got over here. Missing the shank, I think. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Tom back button. Look at that. Man. Let's go over here and see what Tyler's digging up because he's got a good signal over here. And he's been sticking up shoe buckle pieces and stuff like crazy this place is loaded with buttons and relics and holy cow this is going to be a good spot to come back to for sure where are you there's a lot of iron and bobs yeah look at that little tiny cuff button sweet that is awesome what a spot you just have to be kidding me with this. wow flatty just got another yeah it looks like a, a flatty it's like a little flat button it's thick this thing rang up really high, but this is just silly. The amount of buttons. We've been in this spot for 20 minutes. And we've already got so many buttons and relics and shoe buckle pieces. This is incredible. Wow. There we go. Look at that. Look at this cuff link. Oh, with the little piece to connect it in it. And you know what? Oh, it's I like think... octagon. Yeah, it's really nice. Wow. I, have a, I have a similar one. And I think there might be another target in there. That's that a beautiful be... cufflink. Yeah, it could be the other one. 
Tyler just popped up the first coin over here. Oh, gorgeous. wow. Hey, what a what a range of dates though, huh? We're finding 1700 stuff and then a beautiful green 1906 Indian headset. Unbelievable. He knew too. He said, this is a coin for sure. Nice swung over it. And it's, it, that's beautiful. Nice. Oh, <laughs> as I drop it. Sweet. Wow, this is a sight that uh, you dream of for sure. <laughs> got another shiny Tom back here. Look at that. Still with the dirt on it. Hopefully oh, it's got the goodness. shank. Look at that thing. Wow. It's shankless, but man, I absolutely love buttons. And this is just, this spot that we've just discovered is a untouched virgin site for sure. I mean, there's no way that anybody has ever been here and left all these targets behind. Wow. Look at that thing. Absolutely stunning. Whew. It's been a little while. Not too bad. Not too long, yeah, but oh yeah. You. Yeah, the sun's starting to go down, but yeah, another pewter button. Holy cow. I mean, this cow. site's like 1700s It's old. Day. It's old. I mean, that's like four or five pewter buttons we've got like that out of here. Whew. The sun is going down. Tyler just got another nice little flat 1800s button. And I got a little piece of a uh, shoe buckle frame. Sweet. We are on some old stuff here for sure. Got another button here. That one looks like it's got some gold gilt on it. Look at that thing. What? That is all the way gold. Look at that. Not all the way. Not solid gold, but that is definitely gold, gold plated. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh man. Running out of time here. We'll see what else we can get. This next item that I'm about to dig is amazing it's definitely my favorite uh data dig of the day and uh it's not only because of the item that it was but the item that it is i guess you could say so uh it has a lot of meaning it meant a lot to somebody and it means a lot to me to dig it up and recover this so check this next one out oh yeah that's the good let's stuff, see what we got here definitely a cuff link and I think it has the Freemason symbol on it. Is oh, that right? Is that what that is? It's beautiful. It's Freemason. Yeah. Got a button? It's a little Reggie. Freemason nice. cuffing. Woo. That's beautiful. All right, see what we got here. Bruce just got the set. first copper out of this area. We keep talking about. Oh, well, there hasn't been any coins, and it's mostly buttons, but... Oh, that boy. phone's dead for a flashlight. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, is I, think I, see a, I think I see a bus there, yeah. It's either a Connecticut or a KG2, bus facing left. Nice. Yeah, we got another little flat button right here. It just, it, it got quite... Oh, that thing is beautiful, too. Unbelievable. Look at that thing. What the heck? Good stuff on it? Yeah, this thing's gorgeous looking. Wow, full shank and everything. Wow. We just keep keep nailing the buttons. Right before I dug this off, I went, ah, I think it's junk. It sounds like junk, but check it out. Another button. Oh, that one's a cool one too. It's a four hole. And look at even the dirt. Even the dirt has got the holes in it. That's neat. Sweet. This spot's incredible. And I'm pretty sure we got another button here. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, this could be a coin. I don't see a shank mark on it. I don't know what this is and it's getting dark out too. It's tough to tell. Well, this could be a coin here. Maybe it's an Indian. I think that's an Indian. Facing left. But boy, that is tough to tell. I'll have to clean it up and see, but and it could be a fatty. I don't know. I don't really know if it is an Indian. Yeah, I think that's an Indian. I think that's the headdress. I think the bus is facing left. Sweet. 
I don't know what's going on with the back of it. I'll have to clean this up real good and take a better look, but definitely got a coin. Happy with that. Sun is going down, so we don't have too much longer here. So I'm starting to see it a little more as it dries up, but fantastic. And I believe we have another coin here. It could be a coin or a button, but... Jeez, I'm not too sure. Maybe it is a button. Yeah, I think this is a button now, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a smushed... Smushed over shank there. But it's a weird one. I don't know what's going on with this. If it's got some kind of fancy, like, open work design or it's just corroded, but it's definitely the shank there. Interesting. Hmm. All right, we'll try to clean it up, get a better look. Well, that's the button that I just found. I just want to show you it because that's why it looked like it was all crusty and messed up because it is like fancy and it has like a flower design or something on it. That's amazing. Very cool. All right, see what else we can get here. So Tyler just found a pipe stem, which is cool. I've never found one and that was his first, but we got another button in the clump. Oh yeah, shank and all. Thank you very much. Oh, this spot is just crazy. Look at that. 17 and 1800s buttons. One after another. It's crazy. Let's see. Tyler's got another good button over here. Are you kidding me? Oh, beautiful tomback. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. Nice. This place is unbelievable. Beautiful. Great find. Holy cow. Yeah, look at the... Look at this, this brick and pottery, glass, stuff all over the surface here. So that's definitely uh, the indication you want to see of an old home site. So yeah, we'll keep pounding. We get some good stuff here. Before I officially close up the video, um, I just want to share a few pictures of my finds uh, and Tyler's finds because he did real good. Together we got, I believe it was 26 buttons out of this field, a couple of cufflinks. Uh, and, um, you know, a couple of coins, a couple of Indians, a copper, and, uh, and some shoe buckle pieces. So, I mean, it was a great day. Uh, definitely no complaints. So, just a little photo gallery here, and we'll get on to finishing the video. enjoyed this video um, so after hunting this place for a couple hours we're pretty sure that it's probably been hit before and someone cleaned it out for all its high tones someone must have went through there it was a coin shooter um, or just picked out all the high tones just looking for coins and left all these buttons and other little relics uh, left behind so um, we did find a few coins I'm sure that there's more there it's just a matter of getting over them and searching through um, to me, it's not always about the coins, sure. There's definitely some something very special about coins and about getting something with a date on it. Um, you know, it, it, there is something special about finding a coin, especially old ones, 1700s, 1800s even, uh, and even 1900s silver or Indians, you know. Uh, I mean, they're all special in their own way. But to me, I'm more of a relic guy. I'm not specifically a coin shooter. I don't go out looking for coins. I'd rather uh, find a button or a shoe buckle or sash buckle, something like that along those lines. Um, something that maybe somebody wore, had a lot of meaning to them. Uh, that is really the kind of stuff that I look for and that I enjoy finding. So somebody did come through this field and pick all the coins out. Well, thank you very much for leaving copious amounts of wonderful buttons, old tombacks, uh, everything. I mean, it's just, it was amazing. Very fun day. We had a blast. Um, you know, we were not planning on staying out as late as we did. And we wound up uh, being able to stay out later, both of us. And we stayed out basically till uh, sundown and it was uh, difficult to see. 
And uh, I know even in the video, it looks like it's bright out still, but it's really not um, towards the end there. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. We will definitely be going back here again and trying to uh, see what else we can recover and see if we get a few more buttons out of this field. Um, it's just amazing. It's not too often you go to a spot where if you're swinging for five minutes and you're not finding anything, it almost feels bizarre because we were just button after button after button every couple minutes. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Everybody have a wicked great day.